What's up everybody? Welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to work with smart filters. A smart filter um, is can be applied to a smart object or we can convert a normal layer for smart filters. And when you have a smart filter, it uh, allows you to show and hide your filters. You can adjust, reorder, or delete them and it makes for a non-destructive type of work uh, um, workflow where it's not going to make something when it's not destructive you're able to take it off or take or anything like that without uh, damaging the image or completely changing the pixels in the image so let's go ahead go ahead and open up an object and we're gonna convert this into a a um, an object for a smart layer or for smart filters so let's go to the filter menu here and then we're gonna go to convert for smart filters and you can see this you can either turn that off if you don't want it anymore I'm just gonna hit OK and now we've got our little icon here to show that we're able to use our sm smart filters um, so go ahead and make sure you have the layer selected and go up to the filter and we can start adding uh, some filters if we want to we can add this one called wave make it a little wavy and you can see it, it uh, adds a, a section below called smart filters and then we have wave we can add another um, let's do a, let's do emboss I guess All right, so we got that going on there. So I've applied a few filters. Now um, you can click on this area arrow here to hide or show the filters. If I click on the eye here, you can see that the emboss filter is now hidden, or you can show it. If you want to hide them all, just click on this eye by the smart filters button there. We can change the order in which these are applied by dr clicking and dragging. So if I click on emboss and then drag it below, it's going to switch. And uh, that helps with the different uh, thing, uh, different uh, ways that they're uh, applied in the order. If I want to delete, I can just drag it down to delete it. And if I want to mess with the blending options, I can double click on this icon right here and the blending options will come up and I can change the, the opacity of it and everything like that and it blends the two together and you can get some kind of interesting effects um, blending with a distortion filter isn't like really the greatest so uh, I wouldn't recommend that too much you would want to blend with something that uh, doesn't distort the image it just adds something on top of it so that's how you uh, create smart filters and how you work with smart filters. And that's all I wanted to show you for this. So be sure to subscribe for uh, more tutorials on filters, which are coming up soon. And be sure to have a good day, everybody. Use these to your advantage.